Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Sorry this video is up so late. This is my couponing haul for the week of June 4th, I believe it starts. And today is Tuesday, so I'm a little bit behind. Normally I have my videos up on Sunday, but I'm held up. My sprained ankle has been giving me a lot of problems. So I didn't get to CVS until yesterday. Um, so yeah, let me go through these deals with you. I technically just went for the Huggies, but I ended up getting a lot of items as you can see. And most of these items are things that I got because I personally used them and needed them at the time. Or I just had really good personalized coupons. The personalized coupons look like this and they are the ones that get sent to your CVS app or they are the ones that print out at the Redbox machine in the store. And those are just for you, only you can use them for your card. So not everyone is gonna have all of the coupons that I used today, but you're just gonna have to figure out what are the good deals for you and which ones you're able to do with the coupons that you have. So let me just get right into it and this is quick couponing. So let's see the deals. The first deal I did was this simple. I love their makeup removing wipes. So this eye makeup remover was on clearance for $4.14 each, so I purchased two. It was $8.28 total. I had $2 off of a simple cleanser or moisturizer, and they said that I can use it on this um, because it was in the cleanser section. And yes, yeah, so I ended up paying $4.28 after the $2 off each, and that made them $2.14 each. In that same purchase, I also purchased this Almay. And the Almay deal is they are buy one, get one 50% off at CVS this week. In this week's newspaper, there was a purchase of buy any Almay product. So I got that lip product. You'll get the mascara for free. So the mascara was $8.79. Um, the lip product was $6.79. So this one was 50% off and then they take off $8.79 for the mascara. So you end up only paying half price for the lip product, which was $3.39, which is a really good deal. Um, I had a personalized coupon for $3 off of $15 cosmetics purchase, um, and they counted the eye makeup remover as cosmetic. So with both of those in the same transaction, I was able to get that $3 off. So for the simple, I paid $2.14 each, and then for the All May, it ended up being $0.19 cents each for that. Another good deal I noticed when I was just walking down the aisle was these Velveeta 4-packs. I really like these for emergencies if I'm making something my kids aren't going to want to eat for dinner. Um, normally, they're like $3.99 or $4.99 at Target or Walmart or whatever you wherever you go, um, but they are on sale for $2 for $5, so that's only $2.50 each, which is a really good deal. They're 4-packs. As you can see, we already got into those last night. The kids had mac and cheese for dinner. They were very excited because we haven't bought these in a while. So two for five. Um, I had no coupons or anything. That's just a really good deal that they have at CBS this week. The next deal I did is the scope. And the scope is priced at $3.99. And the deal is when you purchase one, you're going, or no, when you purchase $8 in Crest mouthwash, you're going to get a $4 extra buck. Since both of these are $3.99, I got close enough to the $8 to be able to get that $4 extra buck. I also have 75 cent off coupons that you can print on coupons.com. They're still there, so you can go ahead and print two 75 cent coupons for scope. Um, so yeah, they're going to ring up a $7.99, you're going to use the $1.50 coupon. I also had a $2 off of a $6 mouthwash coupon. So after both the coupons and the $4 back, it ends up being $0.50 cents or $0.25 cents each. So I ended up picking up two. Another good deal with no ECBs back, just something good that we use. These are the only fruit snacks my kids eat. Um, they just, these are the only ones they like, and this is the Welch's Fruit Snacks. They are on sale for $1.99 each. Um, there was a coupon in last week's newspaper for $1 off of two, so it makes them $1.49 each, which is a really good deal. 
Another deal I did, um, this Snapple is on sale this week, two for two dollars, and then there is a printable coupon on coupons.com for one dollar off of two Snapple. Oh, wait. No, sorry. <laughs> oh, it's early. Anyways, the coupon is buy one, get one free Snapple. So they're both a dollar, so it took a dollar off, so they end up being 50 cents each. Um, since they're on sale, buy one, get one free, it ends up being a pretty good deal. The next deal I did was the Colgate toothpaste, and again, it depends which coupons you have, if this is going to be a good deal. I don't like paying anything for toothpaste, so I'll only pick it up if I have enough coupons to cover the cost. So the coupon, or the Colgate toothpaste are $3, and when you buy one, you get a $1 extra buck back. I purchased two, it equaled $6. I had $1 off of one coupons from last week's inserts, making my total $4. And then I had a $2 off of two toothpaste coupon on my app. So I paid $2 and I got $2 back in extra bucks, making it free. Um, if you don't have that $2 off of toothpaste um, coupon, or if you don't have the $2 um, in newspaper coupons, you might not want to get this toothpaste and wait for a better deal where you get more extra bucks back. Um, the next deal I did was the Nivea. Let me just hold it up for you. I purchased this one and I purchased this one. It is the men's body wash that I purchased. The Nivea is on sale for two for eight dollars. I had a three dollars off of men's body wash our men's Nivea body wash coupon that I printed off of coupons.com a while back. I always say if there's a big coupon, like $3 off, $4 off, print a lot of them just so you have them just in case because this sale came up two for $8. There's no extra bucks back, but CVS is giving everybody an app coupon for $3 off too. Nivea body wash. It's not just the men's, it's the women's as well, so you can purchase whatever you're going to use or need. So I was able to use my $3 off manufacturer's coupon that I printed from coupons.com a few weeks ago. It's not available anymore. Um, in addition with my $3 app coupon, and then I had a $2 off of $6 in body wash or soap. So with all of those combined, my Nivea was free. Um, the next deal, let's see, L'Oreal. So the L'Oreal this week is two for eight dollars, and when you purchase two, you're gonna get four dollars back. That's already a great deal, even if you don't have coupons, but there are dollar off coupons on coupons.com for the stylers and for the shampoo. There's also an Ibotta, one dollar back if you purchase a styler and one dollar back if you purchase a shampoo. I just got two stylers just because I want to try them out. I have a lot of L'Oreal shampoo. I don't really need any so I was like hey let's just go for the stylers this week. So I got these two just to try out. Um, they're eight dollars and then I used one dollar off of each one making it six dollars and then I got four dollars back making it two dollars after they bought a dollar rebate it'll be fifty cents each for that L'Oreal in that same transaction I got the Tresemme the Tresemme deal is buy one get one fifty percent off there's no extra bucks but I had a three dollars off of two manufacturer coupon from the P&G inserts a few weeks ago I also had a three dollars off of fifteen dollars in shampoo so since I got, oh, shampoo and styler. So since I got the L'Oreal and Tresemme in the same transaction, I was able to use the $3 off of $15 in shampoo. So the L'Oreal is $4.99, and then the other one is $2.49 because they're buy one, or not L'Oreal, sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry, this is a really long morning. The Tresemme is $4.99, and since it's buy one, get one 50% off, the second one rings up as $2.49. So together it's $7.49. Minus $3 from my manufacturer coupon and minus $3 from my $3 off of shampoo CVS personalized coupon. I ended up getting it for $0.87 cents each, which was a really good deal, so that's why I picked that up. Anything under a dollar for shampoo, I'm always going to get it. Let's see, let's see. The next deal is the extra laundry detergent. Um... 
They are already priced really low. They're on sale for $1.49. I purchased two of them. I had a $1 off of two insert coupon from a couple weeks ago. So that made them $1 each, which a dollar for laundry soap is really good. I've never used this brand. I don't know if I will because I have sensitive skin, but it definitely makes for something good to have as a backup emergency or for donations. Um, that's always a good thing to pick up, have some extra stuff. The next thing I did were the Renew Zits. They are four for four dollars. If you purchase anything else, they're $1.09 each. I purchased five because I had a dollar fifty off of five dollars in Glade, Renew Zits, Febreze, like that kind of stuff. So I used that dollar fifty off personalized coupon, and I had a coupon from this week's newspaper, which was buy two, get two free. So that took off two dollars. So I ended up paying $1.59 for all five, or it makes it $0.31 cents each. If you want to be smarter about this, there is a saving star for $2.20 back if you purchase six. So if you purchase just one more for $1.09, you'll get $2.20 back. So it makes it free for all of them. So I didn't think that far in advance. <laughs> and lastly, the Huggies. This is the deal that I went for. Um, the Huggies are buy one, get one 50% off. They're priced at $11.99. So you'll get one for $11.99 and one for $5.99. I purchased four. Underneath, you'll see the other bags. So for all four of them, it equaled $35.97. When you purchase $30 in Huggies this week, you're going to get a $10 extra buck. I had $4 off of two coupons from coupons.com. So that took $8 off. I also had a $5 off of $25 in diapers coupon from CVS, personalized coupon, printed at the Redbox machine last week. So I used that as well. And I also had a $6 off of a $30 purchase um, email coupon. So make sure you're signed up to receive emails from CVS. Every Thursday they'll send you some kind of um, percent off coupon or dollar off coupon. So I used that $6 off for this um, transaction. I paid $16.97, I got $10 back in extra bucks, making my total for all four diapers $6.97 or $1.74 each, which is awesome. All of this, all together, lots of stuff that I got, it totaled to be something. <laughs> I lost my little book, I don't remember, it was like $113 I believe before all of the coupons. I had over $64 in coupons and I got a bunch of extra bucks back. Out of pocket, it ended up being $25. I'm also going to do a $2 uh, saving star for the simple. And I'm getting $5 back in beauty bucks. So my total out of pocket is going to be $18 for this transaction, which was all a lot of things I need. Not everything gave back extra bucks, so it wasn't like the best deals. I would definitely pick and choose which whatever with whatever coupons you have what deals are going to work the best for you. So thanks for watching. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or video requests or anything like that. And I will hopefully have my video up next week on time on Sunday night with the deals at CVS. Thanks for watching and this is Quit Couponing.